Ok, došao sam na piš pauzu. <laughs> Završena je oficijalni deo, odnosno sve prezentacije. Sad ću napraviti intervju. We can only imagine in a world where AI can really help build a different society. It can personalize education. It can really solve issues of our world. It can tackle problems that we humans are not able to. That's pretty exciting. Ok, se kiraši, dosta ste u poslije vreme čuli da se priča o AI-u i sve je postalo AI, AI, AI i naravno kompanija Kaspersky je jedna od kompanija koja je na, da kažemo tako, na liniji prvog fronta kada pričamo o AI-u. Međutim, danas imamo jednu specijalnu priliku da pričamo sa ekspertom za AI. So, Lilian, can you introduce to my audience and tell something about yourself, your expertise and stuff like that? Zdravo, thank you so much for hosting me. I'm Lillian. I've been uh, working in the field of AI for the past years. I've been really vocal about the social implications of AI and the challenges and the opportunities that it poses for society and business. If we're talking about AI, what is the, the main goal in, uh, let's say, science circles right now? The main goal is to perform better in terms of accuracy because we're seeing a lot of applications that are really strong in generating context and in generating content and amplifying data to learn but we still see and locate issues with fundamental aspects of learning for instance compositionality understanding a subfield of components relative to the entire meaning breaking down the meaning basically simulating something in a deeper layer of semantics additionally it's really important to understand better so right now we're working the scientific community is primarily working into improving these aspects of learning and recognition but also into giving context meaning not only what is said and what is produced and transcribed but what it means additionally if we're talking about ai right now we already heard about uh, chat gpt and stuff like that so that basically mimicking uh, the the human brain but the human brain is uh, more than uh, just you know communication uh, electrons traveling and stuff like that can you hold my hands for a second of course <laughs> so what is happening right now it's a chemical reaction so do you do you see in the future they will put some kind of i don't know not device but but system that will understand you know this reaction that this human humans reactions on a chemical level well it could be feasible i will agree with you that we're not exactly mirroring uh, the human brain. AI and the way it's been involved, it has to do with one aspect and, or one theory on how the human brain works, and that is statistical approximation. But the human brain does not only work from data. If you deprive the brain from data, and this has happened, for instance, language, it will never be able to perform. We need data, we know that. But apart from data, there is undeniable evidence that we have hard-coded rules. This right now does not exist in modern AI. And this is the fundamental issue on why we have some reduced accuracy, because we lack the set of rules on how a brain would perform. So you can imagine that in traditional computer programming, we have specific rules. In deep learning, we don't have prerequisite uh, for, for rules. So to answer your question, it is possible to also combine hardware and hard-coded engineering or to take it a, a next level up and talk about uh, biochemical uh, monitoring of the brain, etc., etc. But we should definitely beforehand try to establish clear processes on rules on how we perceive technology and how we communicate. When we're talking about AI, I can bet that you had this question like a million times. Skynet scenario, Terminator and stuff like that. Is there any discussion in scientific uh, circles uh, about AI against AI where the humans are like ants, you know, for example? It's not an active discussion, but I wouldn't say that it's something that's never going to happen or there's no zero probability for it to happen. You can imagine us, we are talking about the good, the bad and the ugly. That is not necessarily the bad in that scenario, that's the ugly, meaning that AI to AI could be the result of improper and idiotic uh, and the idiotic stems from the human point of view, meaning that these models, we cannot trust them, not only because they are inherently dummy, 
No, they are not. They are agnostic, which can make them dummy, therefore yeah. dangerous for us. We were talking on uh, on next lot about uh, deep fakes, and we're talking about governments, and we're talking about the borders, about internet. There is more bandwidth in, in internet. There is uh, less latency. There is more compute power that you can defragment. What is the future of stopping the bad deep fakes? Well, that comes in line again with the future of computing technology. This can not only be determined by AI alone. We need governance, uh, we need computing and quantum, quantum computing investments as well. To talk about only from the standpoint of AI and deep fakes and technology, we will be seeing the evolution of more deep fake algorithms, but also uh, we are, as I said before in my speech, we're watching a horse race and whoever finishes the line will uh, be the one that survives. Horse race between accuracy and detection. Is there any software that can quickly detect uh, deep weight? There are some software that I, I cannot name some uh, in mind right now, but they're continuously building software, whether that's open source or whether they're like software as a service product. And we're talking about uh, 256 bit uh, encryption. How far or how close we are to you know, to have a problem because of uh, computing power is increasing and stuff like that again that also comes in line with discussions about uh, cloud computing power and quantum computing this is why we're putting the emphasis and talking so much about the need to invest in data centers and cloud computing because these are indeed resource heavy we heard the words like hope i hope my opinion in my beliefs what is different from the god and the church hmm. That's an interesting question. Well, there are fundamental differences. We talk about subjective matters right now because we are defining what AI is, okay? Same as a church. Same as a church, <laughs> so that could be a similarity. Yeah, yeah. it is based on mathematics and it is based on uh, some objective approximations of our worlds, like numbers and models and statistics. But we are trying to solve the remaining, the remaining questions of the universe we should treat AI uh, with the same severity. Does the European AI Act is the stepping stone in that direction? It is a definitely a step towards a correct direction, for sure. But it's pretty basic, if you ask me, and it's pretty generic, meaning that it can provide a set of rules to avoid bad applications or potentially harmful applications like social scoring, but it doesn't uh, include other countries, and we're global, as we said, we're not just these uh, European countries. And fundamentally, what I want to see and what I hope that we will, uh, will help us see is not only define what's bad, but also what's good. And we haven't defined that yet. Uh, Cybersecurity is some kind of damage control. How is this the case with AI? It could be the case. It, it's very, it's a very powerful, powerful tool. LLMs can guide cybersecurity experts to potentially craft scenarios, bring to the surface solutions and potential actions for solutions. Thank you very much. I must admit I heard one very interesting question related this connection with religion. It's a very tough one. Yeah, I never, I was never asked this question before. Of course, that that is me. That's why. That's a really good way. I ne I was never. I I get asked questions, but this never. The X is an acronym. It's short for uh, uh, Advanced Extreme Enthusiasm. <laughs> I have one conversation with my friend, you know, he's a believer, he believes in Jesus, he believes in God, you know, and I respect that. I don't believe in God, you know, I mean, at least not church God or whatever. I, maybe I believe in some unique force or space, I don't know, whatever. But the thing is, I asked him, so if the God create everything, how come you know the, the bad things uh, and his almighty bad thing is happening? I heard Neil deGrasse Tyson say something. In all cases of religion, we picture God being either totally powerful or totally kind and nice. Yeah. And then you watch this catastrophes in the world and the injustice. One of them, at least one of them, cannot be true. It can be the same thing in the same time. Mm -hmm. yeah. How can you give, give to a child leukemia, for instance? You Maybe God was some, on some vacation, you know, during that church thing. Yeah. Who knows? <laughs> <laughs> but on the other hand, the compliments do because you handled the question as if it was not the first time you... No, I never well, thought about it. Thank you. I never, it never even crossed my mind. And there are many things that cross my mind relating to AI. That's a good question. Thank you. I'm going to watch it to see how I answer. <laughs>
Yeah, I will send you a video, don't worry. Okay. Yeah, we are connected on Instagram now. So. Okay, okay. Oh, yes, yes, of course, of course. So now you can go grab some refreshment or if you have another interview. Dark, dark, you tell me, did you make some picture of, uh, of us? Yes. Yeah.